Making his way to the ring is the very popular Vinny Pazienza. And uh, when Vinny enters the ring, he is really stepping on stage. He is in a fight zone. Uh, great presence, uh, like a, a George Foreman doesn't have to be a title fight. The crowd is behind him, and he certainly stirs up the atmosphere. What is on his mind tonight in his third fight back since the automobile accident? Well, you know, his idol, Al, was Willie Pep. His style is similar now to Willie Pep. He says he's using Willie's style to frustrate opponents, and then he says it's easy to beat them. Pazienza enters the ring. And Lloyd Hunnigan, who won his title against Donald Curry when Hunnigan was a 6-1 to one underdog. But several years later, he would be taken out by Mark Breland in the third round. And most thought that uh, it was over for Hunnigan. But he has come back. And he has uh, come back with seven straight victories and now fights as a middleweight against Vinny Pazienza. A look at the tail of the tape. Vinny Pazienza, the former lightweight champion at then 135 pounds. He now is outgrowing the middleweight division. 30 minutes before yesterday's weigh-in, he had to sweat off five pounds to get down to 158. Lloyd Hunnigan, the former welterweight champ, then at 147 pounds, had to stuff himself just to get up to 155 and three quarters. The rules here in New Jersey, standing eight count is in effect, so is the three knockdown rule, but you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the scoring on the 10-point must scoring system. We're ready to go, so let's go up to our ring announcer, Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get things started. 12 rounds in the middleweight division. Referee for this contest is Tony Orlando. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks with gold letters, weighing 155 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, an excellent one, 41 victories, 25 by KO, only three defeats. He currently holds the British Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Championship Ladies and gentlemen, from London, England, presenting the former two-time undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Lloyd Ragamuffin Honeygun! And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with black trim, weighing in at 158 pounds even. His professional record, 33 and 5, 25 of those 33 victories by KO. He comes to us tonight from Cranston, Rhode Island. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the former lightweight champion of the world, the former junior middleweight champion of the world. He is the Tasmanian Devil, Vinny Pazienza. professional fight. You understand? You have any questions? Let's do it. Vinny Pazienza turning out to be a pretty good screenwriter and writing his own new movie. The Pazienza Story. Coming back from the broken neck in the automobile accident, November of 91, he has had two fights back against Luis Santana and Brent Lally. He has uh, not really been tested in those two fights. Now he goes up against a uh, big puncher in Lloyd Hunnigan, but the question whether Lloyd Hunnigan is still the big puncher he was as a welterweight champion. Yeah, many, including me, wonder what condition he's in. He is a former world champion, and Lloyd Hunnigan is a dangerous puncher. They say the last thing that a puncher loses is his ability to punch. The reflexes can go, the quickness, the sharpness goes out of their punches, but they still have that snap on the end. And right now, Hunnigan has that right hand cock ready to pull the trigger. Known as an aggressive fighter in his uh, heyday. Tried to walk through opponents. 
likes to rush up on you, and Vinny Pazienza feels that Hunnigan will come out strongly in the first couple of rounds. And One of the things that you have to do if you're, if you're Hunnigan is you have to settle this crowd down. You cannot let him get on that roll. The crowd will help you win fights, and a Vinny Pazienza crowd, arguably the best fans in the world, will do that for Vinny. You've got to keep him quiet at the first. Well, they were saying the same things about Vinny Pazienza a few years ago, that he was washed up when he was unable to make it in his third crack at the junior welterweight uh, title. But it just turned out he was fighting at the wrong weight. Here's Vinny Paz now as a middleweight. And there are those who think he may eventually be able to go up to light heavy. He's having problems making the middleweight limit. Yeah, in fact, he had to sweat off five pounds this morning. 30 minutes late to weigh in, huh? But now at the age of 30, after the accident, he has worked so hard on strengthening the neck area, he feels he's even stronger than before the accident. And his body is at full capacity. He's matured. He's comfortable in his weight. He thinks he has his best direction right now. And looks to be at the top of his game. Moving. We talked Al about writing his own script for his own movie. He got into boxing after watching Rocky, the movie. He said the career paralleled the movie. He said he went to see Rocky V. And the next day after Rocky V, the bank closed that he had all of his savings in. Yes, there are many twists, of, yeah. many twists and turns in the Vinny Pazienza story inside and outside of the ring. But right now, he wants to stay up and put Hunnigan down. And we are in the first round. This is a 12-round fight. It's called an elimination bout with the winner moving ahead to a championship fight, which has yet to be defined. Not sure what championship, but a championship. Yes. yes. No, they'll make a new one. There are no rules in boxing. <laughs> Final seconds of the first round, and Vinny Pazienza closing uh, Hunnigan in on that corner. Boy, and Hunnigan is hurt. Look at the, the, the huge crowd at the convention center on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. And they are seeing the scheduled 12-rounder between Vinny Pazienza and Lloyd Hunnigan, two former world champions. Question going in was can Lloyd Hunnigan still punch? Does he have the punching power? It's another question. Does he still have the legs? Can he withstand the power? In that first round, on several occasions, his legs were locked and wobbly. There he is. Going down for the first time all right. It's not, not his rule to knock down. More of a push from Vinny Pazienza. But what you try to do is get your opponent down there to the canvas. Get, get him to like it. Get him to know what it feels like to go down there and then knock him down there. The two banged heads as they came together. Now, again, see how the legs are locked from Lloyd Hunnigan? That's how you know a fighter is hurt. And it is Pazienza closing in, now ripping away, putting on the pressure is Pazienza. He has not been hit yet in this fight. Pazienza cornering Hunnigan. The crowd coming alive, sensing something here in the second. A lot of movement by Hunnigan to try to avoid the shots of Pazienza, who is rolling up. Hunnigan's got to throw. He can't sit there and wait for the punches to get off. What fighters say when they're at the end of that road is they say, I saw the openings, I just couldn't hit them. And it, it appears to me that Hunnigan is at the end of that road. Is Hunnigan a shot fighter? Well, that question was uh, asked to Vinny's dad, Angelo. He said if he's not a shot fighter now, he will be Saturday night, the night of this fight. He just took a shot with the right hand, trying to land that. Hunnigan, a veteran of 44 fights, it's going to take him a little while to get going. Keep your punches up, says Tony Orlando. As he has it keeps on moving, he's uh, alerted to some of the wild punches of uh, Lloyd Hunnigan. Wants to make him miss those wild shots. As feels in the long run that his power and speed will dominate. May not have to take the long run. 
and there, there's still some questions you know, with the surgery and the vertebrae that were broken in his neck. Still some questions about his ability to, to, to withstand a big punch. He got hit in the Louis Santana fight when we saw that out of the Ledger, Connecticut. Well, Vinny, of course, had a reputation of being hit a lot. That has not been yet in his comeback, but he says he's not concerned. Boom. He's put in hundreds and hundreds of rounds in sparring. All kinds of trouble to Lloyd Hunnigan. Here he is mauling, backing Lloyd to the ropes, and then throwing, although he missed the left hook. Toward the end of the round, it is again Vinny Pazienza on the attack. Lloyd Hunnigan can't get off. He's waiting too long for the opening. He's waiting for something to happen. He's posing with his opponent. It was nearly seven years ago when Hunnigan made the headlines and beat Donald Curry, who was the six to one favorite for that welterweight uh, championship, owned by Curry, who at that time was considered among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And then Hunnigan stepped up in his first defense, took out Johnny Bumpus in two, defeated Maurice Blocker, knocked out Gene Hatcher in 39 seconds of the first round. Losses followed. Marlon Starling and uh, then trying to reclaim the title against Mark Breland. And now the uppercut. Bolo punches coming from the knees of Vinny Pazienza. Straight right by Paz, putting on a show. Bouncing Hunnigan off the ropes and down to the canvas. Hunnigan was hurt with that overhand right. Hunnigan came out with more intent this round, but it was Benny Pazienza who had to fight back. Hunnigan tried to steal control, but it was Benny. And Benny certainly on. knows how to close the show. And the weak knees are weak, the legs are wobbly. Close the show and put on the show at the same time. As a middleweight, he feels he now has the speed combined with the power. Feeling stronger and sharper and quicker. And there goes the mouthpiece. Hunnigan, left hook. ready to go here in the third. Still over a minute left. Hunnigan very slow with the arms. Wilton, pass holding on, and uh, Tony Orlando steps in wisely. And now a timeout to replace the mouthpiece, and this uh, certainly will help Hunnigan at least short term. Pazienza in full control. Huggy comes out, less than a minute left in the third. Perfect timing for Lloyd Hunnigan to get a few seconds of rest. Lloyd Hunnigan is walking on his heels, which fighters do when they've been around the game too long. See that front foot? Lloyd Hunnigan is on his heel. Good right hand. And Benny Hunnigan Pazienza. again, bending at the waist, trying to avoid the shots of the Pasmanian devil. Boom, there it is again. High on the forehead, out on his Rock feet. Rock is Hunnigan. He's been down once in the third. Paz, in and out. Trying to put Hunnigan out, who comes back to the head. Boom, overhand right again. Big story for the overhand right from Vinny Pazienza. The left hook hurt him. They fight after the bow. Lloyd Hunnigan down in the third round, but he keeps on going and survives the onslaught of Vinny Pazienza. And he hears it now from Mickey Duff. Put the head back. Don't let him throw shots that you not throw back. You've got to keep moving and keep the center. Lloyd, you can't get on the road because he's tumbled which way you're going now. You understand? Yeah. You've got to stay in the middle and punch it out with him. You understand? There is Go for it. They let him stand up for a few seconds to get more air into on. his lungs. Here's a look at the knockdown. Right. Look at this. Vinny Pazienza with the overhand right. right. These punches are stunning. Lloyd Hunnigan. And watch this. He didn't even hit him when he finally went down. It was from a punch that happened earlier. There's the left hook, the right hand, and a miss. There's the uppercut, There's the punch that just rocked him over. The uppercut is the punch that knocked him down. Here is that big overhand right, finding a home for that right hand. 
Vinny Pazienza. Although Lloyd Hunnigan, uh, very elusive, bending from the waist. That the shot also glancing off the top of the shaved head of Hunnigan. Fourth round action. It's all Pazienza so far in the schedule. 12 rounded. I talked about last round. Hunnigan walking on his heels. Something that fighters do when they're time has come in boxing you walk on your heels your the weight of your punches are going backwards you don't have the body into the shot Vinny Pazienza looking for bigger and better things again works the crowd says he'd step in against anybody but to end the comeback since the accident carefully selected opponents in Santana and Lolly and now Hunnigan who once again appears to be in trouble in trouble once again, but Vinny is having trouble finding the mark with Hunnigan. He hits him, he hurts him, he stuns him, and then he doesn't hit him with the second shot to take him out. Hunnigan is a wise, old-time fighter who knows when you get hit, duck. <laughs> More's coming. <laughs> well, he's, he's uh, ducking a lot here tonight. Halfway through. In this fourth round. You know, it's the third fight back for Pazienza. You almost start to take the comeback for granted a year or so later. He hasn't just come back. He's come back even better. Indomitable spirit. Like great positive attitude. He said, no matter what. But he takes a left. Okay, says Paz. That tested my neck. <laughs> he always finds a way to see the good side in things. His mother, Louise. He never watches his son fight. Another right hand from Lloyd Hunnigan. That's how to do it, says Paz. Here's two guys who, uh, outside of the ring, have really taken a liking to one another. <laughs> you can't tell that now. <laughs> and uh, Paz getting Hunnigan to start up, getting him back into this fight. You know, Hunnigan says he always pictured Pazienza as a loud mouth, a wise guy, a guy I wanted to destroy, but because I had trouble getting angry with Vinny, to tell you the truth, seems like an awfully nice guy. I'm very confused because Hunnigan, and this is the first time he really respects the other guy he's going to fight. He always goes in the ring where he wants to rip the other guy's heart out, he says, but he just wants to hug with Vinny. Well, early in this fight, he was trying to hug Vinny, but that's to stay alive. He says, I don't want to hit him. My name. A little confidence booster for Vinny Pazienza. Trying to psych out Lloyd Hunnigan. Nah, you didn't hurt me. Come on. You got to do it right here. Come on. <laughs> Try to hit me in the chin. Oh, it's very frustrating. Keep him up, Vinny. Keep him up. When your opponent puts his arms down and just lets you throw at his head. You know the amazing thing? That's the leading contender for a Budweiser power punch. Yeah. From himself. Thrown by Vinny Pazienza. <laughs> and received by Vinny Pazienza. Fifth round action, but the, what you have to consider here now, Sean, is Pazienza appeared to have Hunnigan yeah. down and out in the first couple of rounds, but Hunnigan finding a way to survive, uh, getting into the fifth, and uh, perhaps again trying to get himself into this fight unwound. Yeah, well, Lloyd Hunnigan is a slow starter. But it appeared as though, on several occasions, Vinny had him out on his feet, stumbling, looking for the canvas, stepping in post holes, and now he has revived. And he has had several moments where he's thrown good punches. He's worked well with the overhand right. Asianza likes to use the ropes to get leverage. Use the ropes, and one of the best things that he does is a pivot. He'll pivot around his opponent. You get the angle on your adversary there he is again right around to the side of him you can hit him he can't hit you still stumbling around is Lloyd Hunnigan but getting some shots in and inside getting some shots in but still staggering something is wrong with his legs and there he goes back back to the ropes see against those ropes you can lean up against those you don't have to use your legs it's, it's a it's a lazy man's way to fight. You get on those ropes, you bounce off the ropes, you have to block punches. 
Now, you, you saw what these fighters weighed for the fight. Has he ends at 158, Hunnigan 155 and three quarters. Oh, again, the left hook, that did damage again. The knees locked. Lloyd Hunnigan is hurt once more. Hunnigan had to eat everything he could to get up to 55 and three quarters. There he is wobbling back. His legs are shot. Lloyd Hunnigan's legs are ready to go. And so may be the rest of the body. When you get hit, your legs leave your body. <laughs> and you fall to the canvas. Well, Pazienza oh. certainly sensed that oh, maybe he came low. Hunnigan in his corner so he doesn't have to walk back to it at the end of the round if we and get to the end of the round. And they're going to take a break when the action stops to replace Lloyd Hunnigan's mouthpiece. There it is. Lloyd Lloyd just 11 the crowd doesn't time. like it. It appeared that Lloyd Hunnigan was once again ready to go, staggering, flumbling around, hurt from several left hooks, grabbing, holding on. Mickey Duff getting uh, one instruction in. Now let's maybe make it back to the corner in five seconds. Vinny Pazienza feels he has Lloyd Hunnigan right where he wants him as he enters the sixth round of very weary-legged Lloyd Hunnigan, and then he goes into the corner and hears from Mickey Duff, who tells him, don't lie on the ropes. Right. Do not, he says, stay away from the ropes. That's where he's doing his best damage, and he's right. If Hunnigan stays in the middle of the ring for the sixth round, this could be the last round. Duff also added, as the answer's getting tired. I have uh, never known Benny Pazienza get tired of fight. Not since his comeback, anyway. Benny Pazienza oh, is on right. stage. Loves to fight. A warrior in there. Fights with a lot of emotion. He said he's different now than before the accident. He's a better boxer, he says now, with more strength. Look at that. Right-handed pivot. Very nice move from Pazienza. The one-two. Pivot over. You set up the hook. Prior to the automobile accident, a couple of months prior to that, Vinny Pazienza beat Gilbert Delay for the junior middleweight crown, his second world championship after he was awarded uh, three times for the junior welterweight crown by Roger Mayweather, Macho Camacho, and Loretto Garza. But after the accident, Pazienza was stripped of the title for, would you believe, inactivity. Give the guy a break, no pun intended. But now he has grown into a middleweight, although he's uh, still ranked in the top ten, as high as number two as a junior middle, and he's ranked number four by the IBF as a middleweight. Well, he had a metal halo bolted to his head for three months. So when they took that halo off, it was like a 747 running through his head. I haven't had a 747 run through my head in a while, Lately, but it, like sure, it sounds like it would be very, uh, very obnoxious. Oh. Every time Vinny lands that left hook, it knocks Lloyd Hunnigan senseless. It's that left side, or the right side of Hunnigan that is weak. Watch, the left hook is the punch that's doing it. Whenever Vinny Pazienza lands that left side, well, there's a right hand connected, and the legs locked once again of Lloyd Hunnigan. But the left hook is a punch that put Lloyd Hunnigan on the canvas, and it's a punch that continues to get Lloyd Hunnigan stepping into post code. That's hurting him. That is doing more damage than the right hand. Again, the left hook buckles the knees of Hunnigan. He is hurt. Look at him looking away, too. That yeah. left hook is really the power punch for Vinny Pazienza. Right, and the wobbly legs of uh, Lloyd Hunnigan, he, he looks uh, like a newborn fawn. In the, exactly, exactly. He's trying to get his... Like, he, he's only 33. 33 used to be old, but he's no longer old. <laughs> now that I get close to that. Used to be. Used to be. Now it's a young 33, but... When he gets hit with that left hook, he becomes older. Some of the tape from that left hook coming loose.
Bruce. And the corner of Vinny Pazienza also urging him on. Stop playing with Hunnigan. That's what they feel he's doing. And uh, conclude this fight. Hunnigan is ranked number five. The IBF. Junior welterweight. Or rather a junior middleweight. And Kevin Rooney taking his time in the corner. Taking his time Looking. and giving instructions. Kevin Rooney a real pro. Lloyd Hunnigan though, I noticed he was taking some deep breaths while he was waiting. Use that time to your benefit. Even if you're the trainer, step up there and tell him what, tell your fighter what to do. Since Hunnigan lost to Mark Breland back in March of 90 for the WBA welterweight the championship, he was out for a year, come back with seven fights all over in England. All wins, six by knockout. No uh, household names. This is only the seventh fight in the U.S. Born in Jamaica, moved to uh, London at an early age. And there's the right hand again. Now watch for the left hook. And watch how differently Lloyd Hunnigan reacts from that left hook than the right hand. The rocking of Vinny Pazienza looking for angles. And he got one upstairs. Combinations. There's, there, there's the left hook. Hunnigan comes in with a couple of lefts. Kevin Rooney working with Pazienza for several years. Got Vinny away from standing in front of his opponent and just slugging it out. Wants him to be elusive, side to side, in and out. Says there's a smart way to slug it out. Don't trade, but once you get an opponent hurt, then go right in and take him out. He had Hunnigan down in the second round. But Hunnigan on wobbly legs has found a way to survive now into the seventh. Been wobbled on numerous occasions. Mostly with that left hook. As he ends it, as a, I guess you could call it hang time. He steps back, has as much time as he wants, plans his uh, pointed route. Well, now he has Hunnigan in a shell. Lloyd has not thrown a punch for a while. Well, there were, there were a couple of punches. But Lloyd has those, those elbows in close to his ribs. He's getting hurt downstairs also. Welcome ringside in Atlantic City at the Convention Center. A big crowd on hand. And uh, right now they are watching uh, Vinny Pazienza and Lloyd Hunnigan, two former world champions, squaring off in the middleweight uh, division. We're talking about Hunnigan had to do as much eating as he could to get up to 155 and three quarters. Pazienza, before the uh, weigh-in, which was contracted for 158, he was 30 minutes late to the weigh-in because he had to uh, sweat off five pounds. Now, that was yesterday. So with the weigh-in yesterday, you know, coming into this fight, Pazienza is uh, considerably over that 158. So he has a big weight advantage in this fight. Yes, and in contrast, Lloyd Hunnigan said he ate like a heavyweight to get up to 155 and three quarters. And now hearing uh, some boos from the crowd. They want Pazienza to, to put Hunnigan away. Wondering why it's gone this long after Hunnigan was down in the second round, looked to be out, but he has found a way to survive, and Pazienza has not found a way to end this fight. Well, Pazienza has never been considered a heavy puncher. Patterns his style, as I mentioned earlier, after Willie Pep. Pep also not a big banger. They're going to fix that tape. Again, the left glove, the same glove they had to fix earlier in this fight. And again, getting some instructions from Kevin Rooney. Lloyd Hunnigan could uh, use every break he can get. Yeah. Kevin Rooney is one of the best trainers in boxing today. He's young, former fighter himself. This is the longest a weary leg Hunnigan has gone since August of 1989. When he won a 10-round decision over Delfino Marin. And we have been 
questioning the, the strength of Hunnigan's leg, so he is now being extended even longer by Pazienza. Who appears to have taken a break this round. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Pazienza came back against Luis Santana in December of 92 uh, with a 10-round victory. Going against a veteran who he uh, knew he would not have to fear his punching power, but it could give him a good workout in his first fight back. Brett Lally, who likes to mix, mix it up, but uh, certainly can't stand on the level of competition as uh, Vinny Pazienza. And that fight was won by Paz in the sixth round. Now it's against a Lloyd Hunnigan, who certainly showed many floors in, in this uh, fight. You know, His better Paz day is behind them, and Paz now will be heading into the ninth round. I'm really getting frustrated. Lloyd Hunnigan uh, slowly uh, working his way out, goes to the neutral corner with uh, some problems in the Pazienza corner, a little too much water there. Now we uh, head out to the ninth round. In what has been a one-sided fight. It's been a ball game, actually. Many Pazienza pitching, Lloyd Hunnigan catching. Heads come together there, clashing. Pitching the head. They want to keep Hunnigan off the ropes, keep him to the center of the ring. Mickey Duff does. I don't know if Hunnigan yeah. wants to. In close, Hunnigan tries to respond. Oh, in close and over the, in and over. Charging on the inside. Going, going, gone. Out of the ring falls Lloyd Hunnigan. Some snappy ropes. Yeah. Lloyd Hunnigan is wearing those leather soled shoes. Those things are sometimes difficult to grab, grip the floor on. Grip the canvas. Well, they give the photographers there a real close up. Most of the most of the shoes today in boxing are rubber soled. Maybe that's why he's slipping around in this fight. Lloyd Hennigan has been hurt on several occasions. Does not lock knee. In the end, it was only the shoes that were shot. <laughs> uh, <ow. laughs> you know, Vinny Pazienza is just not sharp in this fight. He is missing big punches. He's missing the mark. When he rallies, he's swinging. This is not the typical Vinny Pazienza. And now dancing is Hunnigan. And pass with the hands down to standing in front. Oh, big right hand. And Hunnigan may be about to go. Pazienza staying on top, trying to pour it on. Hunnigan again, twisting and turning at the waist, but runs into that one. The pressure by Pazienza. And this time it was the right hand that did the damage. The left hook was certainly there. You cannot be saved by the bell. Final seconds, five to go. The mouthpiece goes and the bell rings. The right hand is the punch that did the damage. The left hook only set up that right hand and down goes Lloyd Hunnigan. How similar that right hand was to the punch back in the third round that knocked Hunnigan down. Watch for this right. The right hand has done a lot of damage. The left hook has been the most effective weapon in this fight. Vinny Pazienza jumps on Hunnigan from the start. 
And now the towel is thrown in from the corner of Hunnigan. Larry Hazard, the commissioner, looking to help out. Pazienza slipping. And then moving in on Hunnigan, but the towel had been thrown in. Larry Hazard, who is a very aggressive commissioner, saw that. The referee's back apparently turned. And with possible trouble there in the corner, Hazard came in to stop the fight. The former and the actually present referees have been refereeing some title fights. And uh, this fight is over. Pazienza gets the win. A good call from the corner of Lloyd Hunnigan. Kevin Sanders, Denny Mancini, Mickey Duff all had seen enough. And now it appears that some of the crowd has seen enough. All right, let's uh, once again look at the sequence. With Pazienza closing in on Hunt again, he had him in trouble late in the last round. And he wanted to pick up. There you see the towel, but you see the referee watching the corner did not see the towel. Pazienza did not see it either, and Hazard quickly in the ring. The winner by TKO, he's the Pasmanian Devil, Vinny Pazienza. On, we documented Hagler's ascent through the boxing ranks until the night he won the title from Alan Minter in London. It was a journey that took him from the streets of Newark to the city of Brockton, Mass, where he landed at the gym of Pat and Goody Petronelli. Now, a look at life as the champion and life after boxing. The story picks up with a historic Hagler-Hearns battle in Las Vegas.